Hello everyone, this is Sam Spade and welcome to another Coding Fundamentals and GML 2.3 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about the delete keyword when used with structs. So you may have noticed that there's a new keyword. That keyword is delete and you can use it with structs. Now well, that raises the question, when should you delete a struct? And what does this keyword actually do? And like we talked about in part two of the structs tutorials, and there should be a link up there, structs basically exist outside of your other objects much like a data structure. And what you need in order to use them is a reference to them somewhere. So for example, you would have a variable and in say an instance that holds a reference to a struct. If you don't have some variable that holds that reference, then you can't interact with the struct anymore. So if for example, you have the struct out here and there's no reference to it, it's now lost to you. You can no longer interact with it. Now you may be familiar that this is a little bit like how data structures work in Game Maker Studio 2 and that with data structures you have to destroy them or you'll get a memory leak. But it's important to know that with structs, GameMaker does track this for you and will destroy them if they're not being referenced anymore. So you don't have to worry about memory leaks. Structs are deleted by default, assuming you keep the garbage collector on. So then what's the point of the delete keyword? Well, the delete keyword removes the reference to the struct and more importantly, it flags it for removal assuming that no other variables reference it. And essentially this makes garbage collection a little bit quicker and more efficient. So while you don't need to worry about deleting your structs, if you're creating large data structures or things like that that rely on structs, it can be a good idea. And while you shouldn't worry about optimization before you need to, if you are running into issues, this could be something to look into. Let's switch over to GameMaker and see exactly how this works. All right, here we are in GameMaker. I've run the debugger. I've stopped on this line. We're simply gonna create three structs. We're gonna create uh, an alarm struct, a vector struct, and a struct using a simple struct literal. You can see we have those three structs down there. And then for demonstration purposes, we're actually gonna save this reference to another variable. So now you can see down here that we have the duplicate reference and the my struct reference. They're exactly the same, 2D1, 2C80. And we can demonstrate that by setting this variable inside of the struct through the duplicate reference, but then showing that it's been changed for both. We set the variable, it is goodbye for our duplicate reference, and goodbye for our my struct reference as well, because again, both of these variables reference the same struct. So if we go back to this diagram right here, it's like having two of these variables, both of which would have a line to this struct right here. So it doesn't matter how we access this struct, whether it's through variable A or variable B, it's still the same struct. And now, We've deleted all of those, and that jump is actually in GameMaker. Uh, it doesn't go line by line through delete for some reason. And you can see that all three of the variables, my vector, my struct, and my alarm, are now set to undefined. Duplicate reference, however, is not. So we can check to see that these truly are undefined. Here we go. One, again in GameMaker, one is true. So my struct, that value really is undefined. But even though we've used delete on this variable, it hasn't deleted the struct. We can demonstrate that by setting the greeting and the struct back to hello world. Show a message, hello world, there we go. Note that I have this line commented out because this variable has been set to undefined. So if I were to try to reference it through this variable, I would get a game crashing error. So from this, we can see a couple things. Number one, we can see what delete does, or at least we can see part of what delete does. It sets the variable to undefined. It doesn't actually delete the struct. And this is clear in the manual as well. So if you have multiple variables that reference the same struct, whether it's in the same instance or multiple instances, calling delete on one of those variables does not delete the struct. It simply sets that variable to undefined. So then why do we need to use the delete keyword at all? Or what value does the delete keyword give you? Why not just set the variable to undefined yourself? After all, that's pretty much how we do it with arrays in GameMaker. If you want to delete an array in GameMaker, you simply set all variables that hold a reference to that array to something like negative one or undefined or really just any other value. Well, the value for the keyword delete is that it actually is doing two things. Again, remember it is setting the variable. It is dereferencing you know, or setting the variable as we see to undefined but it's also flagging the struct for removal in the garbage collector if no other references to that struct exist. So the garbage collector is not going to destroy the struct that is referenced both by the my struct variable and the duplicate reference variable, but it is going to remove the struct that was referenced by the alarm and vector variables. So you can set a variable to undefined and the garbage collector would eventually pick it up, but using the keyword delete not only sets the variable to undefined, but it tells the garbage collector 
that that struct is probably ready for removal. I say probably because again, if another variable has a reference to that struct, the garbage collector won't delete it. But if it's not referenced anywhere else, the garbage collector will look at it and remove it. So in summary, you don't need to worry about deleting structs. GameMaker will handle it for you as long as you leave the garbage collector on. You won't have a memory leak or anything like that. But using the delete keyword can be more efficient. And so it's worthwhile to think about it when it makes sense. The links in this slide will be below, as well links to the slides themselves and the source code. And that's it. Thanks for watching.